Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your Windows 10 machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so you'll get this blue screen uh, randomly. So you'll be able to boot to your desktop and you'll be randomly getting this blue screen of death and you have to restart your machine to get back to the desktop. Uh, this is usually caused by some sort of driver issue. So if you just click on the start menu, type in device manager then the device manager control panel application should appear here so just left click on here now there's two um, drivers we need to update so if you just expand display adapters and then also network adapters because it's usually these two that causes the issue so if you start um, we start with the network adapter so if you just right click on here and go to properties and if you click on the driver tab we can then see that this is the driver version 8.4.13 uh, we can see here it's an Intel Pro 1000 MT so if you just go onto the Intel website download the latest driver which will hopefully be newer than 8.4.13 and um, if you then install that driver so you can click on update driver in here or you can just simply right click here and do update driver and then browse your computer and then select the file that you've downloaded from the Intel website with the updated driver in it and um, follow the prompts to install the driver uh, and then if you repeat the process for your display adapter as well so if you update that and then if you restart your machine uh, the blue screen of death should not come back again if it does it's possible that the driver is corrupted <clears throat> it's got a corrupt file so when you try to update the driver it's probably not updated that file correctly so what you will need to do is if you right click here and do uninstall device uh, when you do that it's going to remove all of the driver files from your machine so I recommend you do that with both devices so if you uninstall it and then if you reinstall your machine again um, because you've previously installed the driver it should automatically install uh, but if not just come back in here do update driver and do browse and manually install the driver again and um, if that doesn't fix it then what we can do is if you open up file explorer and go to this PC if you right click on your C drive and go to properties click on tools and then under error checking if you just do check and do scan drive what that's going to do is it's going to check your whole C drive for any corrupt files um, and it will automatically fix them because uh, it's possible that a corrupt file is causing the blue screen of death as well and if, if you reboot after that and if you're still having problems one more thing that we can do so if you left click on the start menu then click on this cog here which is the Windows settings if you then click on update and security click on check for updates uh, that's going to poll the Microsoft Windows update website it's going to download any fixes um, and service packs that are not available in, or, sorry not installed in your machine at the moment so it will automatically download and install it um, so once you've installed it reboot your machine come back in here and repeat the process go to settings windows updates check for updates again because uh, it doesn't install them all in one one go sometimes you need a couple of reboots so keep on repeating that process reboot and then checking for updates until it does install all of the latest updates and after you've installed that you should have no problems at all now okay if you have any questions please post it in the comment below and i'll help you out if you need it but thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video